An item? Oh, I love this. This is too much. She thinks that you and I are an item. Well, how did you know I live here? Your Aunt Charlene was very helpful. I certainly never expected to see you here. The first time... The only time I ever come here and somebody I care about sees me. Don't you just love it? Oh, buzz off, Quintrup. Nobody asked you to come here, and nobody is asking you to stay. This woman has been nothing but bad luck ever since the first day I saw her. And this jerk thinks that I still work for him. That's what it boils down to. Oh, yeah, right, sure. I suppose you had nothing to do with screwing up our entire filing system, huh? Ow! The only reason I came over here was to see if, by any chance, you happened to walk off with the Phillips file. I can only hope and pray that this woman, and I use that term quite loosely, never enters my life again. So... You lost the Phillips file. No. Yes. What? Well, she claims she never touched them. Uh, and he doesn't want to admit that he handled those files himself and that he lost them himself. You have something against the light, Frankie? What? Ah, uh, well, it is bad for your skin, you know. Of course. Uh, what, what did you want to see me about, anyway? Well, I was thinking, seeing we never finished our chat the other evening, that uh, we'd have lunch. But you're kind of busy. Yeah, I am. But not with him, thank God. I've got to meet with my aunt about a wedding, so will if you'll excuse me, please? I have to get my coat. Oh, you're excused, all right. Shut up. Well, if you're still hungry, how about lunch with me? Oh, you sure you want that? Well, of course I'm sure. Frankie's certainly a strange taste, isn't she? Oh, well, <laughs> I, don't get me started on Frankie's taste. <laughs> Let's not waste our time talking about it. In fact, why don't we go to my office and have lunch? That way we can be alone. You want to be alone with me? Oh, the sooner the better. Walk this way.